Aragon. Alright, what's going on guys, it's Aragon and welcome back to a brand new- what, what the fuck? That's, uh, that's my brother's account. Just, he, uh, he sometimes uses my computer to, you know, play Clash of Clans. Just bear with me for a second. Alright, hopefully I didn't get fucked up. Well, well, we're about to find out. Okay, so I actually didn't get attacked at all. Perfect. Splendid. Alright, what's going on guys? It's Aragon and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, it's been a while since I have uploaded or anything, so I thought, you know, fuck it. I'm just gonna do another Types of Clash of Clans player video. Now, if you've missed the last one, it's gonna be somewhere in the screen right now, so if you wanna go ahead and check it out, I'd appreciate it. And if not, well, you know, just, yeah, I'll go fuck myself. Oh, and if you guys haven't noticed, I actually bought a Blue Yeti mic because I thought that my audio quality was actually fucking shit. So I thought, you know, screw it. I'm just gonna get a actual good quality mic, which is one of the reasons why I haven't uploaded lately because I was kind of like holding it back until I could get my bike. And it finally got here this morning and like after all the tweaking and sh holy shit. You gotta love when people do this shit. I mean, fucking Mr. Hashcon. He's gonna quit, so he might as well just give his loot, you know? Like, it's it's that fucking simple. I fucking love free loot. It's just, I, I absolutely love it. He even took the initiative of isolating the town hall as well. The only defense on this side is this little baby fucking can. But yeah, I hope that the audio is doing really, really good. I've had, like, a little bit of problems with the, the mic. But yeah, so the type of Clash Clan player that I wanted to talk about, I like to call him the fucking leech, okay? This guy... It's probably the most cancerous type of Clash of Clans player there is on this game. Period. Okay, that's it. This guy is literally cancer. The E-Harmony guy is also cancer, but he's not just as bad as the Leech. The Leech is just like straight up stage 4 terminal cancer. Period. It's it just- it doesn't- it's fuck. I mean, it's free fucking loot. I, I mean- I'm really happy now. Look at this Dark Elixir. So pretty much what the leech does is he goes in clans and he starts requesting for troops as soon as he gets in the clan. He puts on this all this fake impression that he's actually gonna stay in your clan and try to be your friend and stuff. Then he's gonna start requesting. And one way to spot them is number one, they're always weak ass low levels, just like the eHarmony guy. And number two, they always request really high expensive troops. Like for instance, most of the time it would be the P.E.K.K.A. Or something that they haven't unlocked or that their original clan that they're actually and hasn't unlocked yet. Most of these people are actually also in war and they're just trying to get good troops from you guys to then use them in war. So these guys are pretty ruthless. They're absolute fucking leeches. Out of all the Clash of Clans players that I can think of, there's not one that I can think of that is worse than the leech. So yeah, they put this fake impression that they're gonna join your clan, they're gonna stay, that they're loyal and shit like that. If you're lucky, you're gonna get a couple of archers from them just to, you know, quote unquote prove that these guys are actually gonna stay and that they're gonna be donating and shit. But as soon as you give them a Pekka or a dragon, they're out. That's it. Like, sometimes they say one rude message like, fuck you, and then just leave, just backs out of the clan. It's thievery. It and it especially sucks because for the struggling new clans, people are trying to prove that they're donating. Good troops and like instantly so it kind of looks bad on the clan that doesn't donate troops right away to their members so i call these guys leeches because they literally feed off of you they feed off of your clan they go into your clan they're fucking parasites and they request for troops and then they just you know they steal from you and then they back out leaving a rude comment or not leaving a rude comment and then they join their other cancerous clan and then you know fucking war and then skip to the next clan and leech off of another clan i myself have fallen victim for this shit for many fucking times especially when i was doing a clan and the worst part of it all is that there is literally nothing that you can do about it after they've leached off of you. I know for the struggling clans, it's gonna be a little bit harder, but when somebody joins your clan and they ask for fucking dragons five minutes or P.E.K.K.A. five minutes in, and they're low levels and they haven't unlocked the P.E.K.K.A.s or the dragons yet, well, that probably means they're leeching. So here we have a potential leech. I'm not saying that Shruti is a leech or... I don't really fucking know how to say his name. But he could be a potential leech, especially if you could request him to join, then ask for dragons and peccas and shit. One of the easy way to spot that this guy could be a leech is to see when he's eligible for war. As you can see, his eligibility for war is in one day in 17 hours. Therefore, that means his war started seven hours ago, which means this guy's hungry for war. He's ready to attack. The only problem is that his teammates won't donate him anything or they just don't have the troops that he's looking for or they're just not online. So his best option is to ditch his clan for a few minutes, go on global chat, Find a struggling clan, but that has decent troops, join it, request the troops that he's so richly seeking for, leeches off of them, gets the troops, optionally leaves a rude comment, and then gets the fuck out. Now, if you guys are the type of Clash of Clans player to be a leech, you guys know exactly who you are. Just stop, man. Just We're just trying to build a strong, great community in Clash of Clans. And just like the eHarmony guy, you're just fucking it all up. Like, all we want to do is bond together and just have fun in the game and, you know, just 
play team. A lot of people like me would actually just give you troops if you just ask politely. Like anyone could go on global chat and ask for a P.E.K.K.A. and I'd just be like, fuck it dude, just come over. Well, that's that. For fuck's sakes. Attacking is... Attacking is disabled until the maintenance break is over. As soon as I get on to record a video, this, this shit happens. I mean, that's just my fucking thought, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't even know what the fuck to do now. I, I could attack one of the goblin missions, it's just I've never beat them so far, so I just, I don't feel like fucking, fuck it, I'll just, I'll attack uh, Mega Devil. Okay, never mind. Apparently, I have to go through the maintenance break for that, too. But anyways, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did... Please leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. If not, as always, I'll go fuck myself. And yeah, just I hope that you guys have learned the valuable lesson to not be a fucking leech. Just don't be a leech. Let's just all build this great community. Let's make Clash of Clans raid again. So yeah, guys, it's been Aragon. Thanks for watching. Later.